Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com and what promises to be either the most boring or the most important Cars.com video you watched this year. That's because this is the redesigned 2013 ninth generation Honda Accord. It's obviously been redesigned. There's a sedan, there's a coupe. This car's predecessor sold more than 150,000 cars in America in the first half of 2012. That made it the sixth best-selling car in America for that time. It's the third best-selling family car. It's been redesigned and we'll cover the interior, some of the roominess features in this sedan video. Be sure to check out the tech features and some of the driving in our separate video of the Honda Accord Coupe. Honda says the new Accord sedan is about a half inch shorter in terms of wheelbase and about three inches shorter from bumper to bumper than its predecessor. The redesign kind of rides the same vein as the Toyota Camry, the Chevy Malibu, the Nissan Altima redesigns. It doesn't exactly look wildly different from the old Accord. You can definitely tell that this is a Honda Accord. Let's go around back. There's more that's different back here, including these tail lights, which have been reshaped. I actually really like them. They're more classier design than the last Accord's kind of robotic looking tail lights. Despite the shorter size, trunk volume is up a cubic feet. It's now close to 16 cubic feet. It's pretty competitive with the segment. What's not competitive is the fact that there's still only a single folding seat here. It folds in one piece rather than the 60-40 split seats in a lot of competitors, which allow you to put in some cargo and then have a passenger still able to sit back there. Can't do that in the Accord. The four-cylinder Accord now gets about 30 miles per gallon in EPA combined city highway numbers. That's up from 27 miles per gallon for the prior generation. Not quite as good as the Nissan Altima four-cylinder, but pretty competitive otherwise. There's also a V6 that gets a very competitive 25 miles per gallon combined. Cabin quality is mostly improved with a nice wraparound dashboard instead of the two panels that were kind of here before. There's also soft areas here where your elbows and arms kind of fall. And finally, chrome door handles have made their way back. The last ones were painted silver plastic, really kind of cheap looking. The Accord's cabin volume in the sedan has fallen a little bit, but it's still a very roomy car, especially in the back seat. You're not going to have passengers that are unhappy to sit back there or ones that are going to have to yell back and forth with you to have conversation for that matter. And that's because Honda has really quieted this car a lot. We've noticed it already on our test drive. The suspension doesn't sound as loud over bumps. There isn't quite as much road noise as there used to be. The Accord used to be a pretty noisy car. Now things are getting a lot better. It doesn't steer as well though. Electric power steering replaces last year's hydraulic setup and it makes the Accord easier to turn at low speeds. The drawback, though, is on the highway where the wheel lacks much feedback. The outgoing Accord had a very planted wheel at 60 or 70 miles an hour. The new one feels a little bit numb. Throw in some cool new technology and mostly improved drivability, and it looks like Honda kept the Accord competitive, even as most other midsize sedans were also redesigned. That means if you're shopping this segment, the Honda Accord remains a must drive. For more car related news, go to cars.com or our blog, Kicking Tires.